Let me introduce you to Aitana, a model from Barcelona. This Instagram model has taken the internet by storm, but she doesn't exist in real life because this is all AI generated. She does have additional photos on her subscription tier, which brings in about $10,000 a month, and she has more than 2 lakh Instagram followers on just 64 posts. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your own AI influencer for free in a few easy steps. So without any further delay, let's get started. There are a lot of AI image generators that can help you to make this influencer. But the easiest and best method is to use Google Collab Notebook. So if you're not familiar with the Google Collab, Google Collab is a free cloud-based platform where you can execute Python codes, machine learning, data sciences, and any other model without having any high-end GPU. So basically this Google Collab Notebook is a stable diffusion web UI called Focus, and this is the rethinking of stable diffusion and mid-journey design. And the best thing is, you can even install this on your local computer. This is an open source and free to use, we are going to use its Google Collab Notebook which is cloud-based. If you're a mobile user, simply go to your Chrome browser and turn on the desktop mode, and now you can do the same thing on your mobile device. So first of all, simply click on this connect button, and this will be connected to your GPU. This is all cloud-based, so you don't need any GPU for that. So once it's connected, simply click on this play button and click run anyway. Now this will start executing the code, and you only have to wait for a few minutes. Okay? So once it's done, you just have to click on this Gradio link, and you will be redirected to its web interface. So here you can see, we have the space to enter the prompt, we have the input image options, and we have the advanced options. So first of all, click on this advanced option, and now you can see we have a few options here. You can select the aspect ratio. We have every aspect ratio that you can imagine and you can even control the number of images here. Then you can enter the negative prompt in it if you want to, but we're going to leave it like this. And from here you can even control the quality of your image. But I would like to keep it default. The next option is the style option. And here you can see we have different styles by default. This is selected as a focus version 2. Focus. Enhance. Focus sharp. But there is a complete list of styles that you can select from anime, realistic, watercolor, typography, cyberpunk, futuristic, and photographic. This is the endless list of styles that you can select. But we're only going to go with the focus version 2. Focus enhance and focus sharp. That is the default setting now. Next, we have the models. And here you can see we have the base model Juggernaut XL. And according to me, this is the most realistic model in stable diffusion. So don't change anything in it. Just keep it like a default. Then we have the advanced option where you can select the guidance, skills, and even the image sharpening. But I would recommend you to use the default settings. Now select the aspect ratio in what aspect ratio you want to make an image. So I'm going to select the 1 ratio 1 and now in the prompt section, I'm going to use this prompt realistic portrait photo of a beautiful woman with pink hair, hair roots slightly faded, Spanish influencer, slight freckles, brown eyes, no makeup, Instagram now hit generate, and this will start generating your image. The image generation time depends on the number of images and the image quality that you have selected. And now you can see it gave us two beautiful images of a girl, simply click here to download it. Once it's downloaded, the next step is to click on this input image option. And now you can see we have a few options here. Upscale variation image prompt and in painting or out painting. But for now, we have to click on this image prompt and simply upload the image that we have just downloaded. So here we have our AI influencer image. Scroll down a little bit and click on the advanced options. And now you can see we have a few more options here. This time simply click on this face swap option. Now go to your prompt section and just type anything like a woman wearing a beach costume and hit generate. And here we have the output images. And now you can see this is almost matching with our first image. You can see this is the same lady but in a different pose and different clothes. Now let's try one more like a woman wearing a sari at a party. And hit generate these are the output images and look at this. How detailed these images are. And this is exactly matching with our input character. So that's how you can make your AI influencer in just a few easy steps. All of the links are in the description below. Go ahead and start making your AI influencer I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.